hello everybody welcome back to the channel i hope you are doing equally amazing as i am and in today's video we're going to learn how we can create a price tracker within an excel and we're going to do this without any vba or python or any coding like that it is going to be beginner friendly tutorial which everybody can follow and create the exact sheet that i have here and in front of your screen okay so what it is basically it's a, a surprise tracker where you would put some links and it will track the price whenever you're gonna refresh the sheet it will automatically go to the website fetch the price and everything will happen in background it will update this chart for you guys to see how the price movements are happening day by day uh, like you can see on the screen micro it's a shoe price went up and then down likewise you can track a limited amount of items and this is completely free you don't have to pay any api fee or anything like that so yeah since we will be building this without any vba so this tutorial will be a little bit longer but i'll make it beginner friendly so everybody can follow Another thing I would like to say, if you're watching this <coughs> channel for the first time, please subscribe. The more subscribers I have, it just gives me a motivation that more people like my videos and it just gives me some more motivation to create some unique ones like this one. I haven't seen anybody doing this on YouTube before. Yeah, so please do subscribe and like and share if you like. <laughs> All right, without further ado, let's dive into it. So what we have here is a blank sheet and we're going to create a little table with a name, uh, item name and this will be start tag, this will be and tag Oops. and this will be URL. All right, this is all we need in the beginning. And then we're going to select this, press Ctrl T on your uh, keyboard and click this button. My table has a header, press OK. So what we did basically, we converted this information in a table, but it's empty at the minute. So what we're going to do, we're going to put some information here, which we, we would like to track. So just for an example. Let's say we want to track the price of this uh, iPad from Amazon. What we have to do basically, you need to right click on the price anywhere and then click on inspect. Okay. Then a little window on your right hand side will open with a bunch of code. Don't scare. <laughs> it's going to be quite easy and friendly understand what's going on basically oops right click and inspect so what this is basically is a, it's a, it's a HTML code for this website where everything is happening what we need from here is a price so the price is up here and we need few words before the price and few words after the price to do that we're gonna right click where the price is and then hit edit as html and then take some information before the price and that will go into the start tag okay and then some information after the and and then some information after the end of the price so spam and the URL URL here in the URL field and item name whatever you like to put here it doesn't really matter so I'll just put iPad and then we're going to click on the data 
then we're going to click on from table range and it's going to load this table into the power query now we're going to click on add column and we're going to click on custom column a little window will pop up in the new column name we'll write price and in here we will start typing web and this little code will appear web.browser.contents that's what we need so press tab it will autofill it then open parenthesis and put URL inside it double click on URL then close it and press OK so what it's gonna do is we'll try to connect to Amazon and get the HTML of that page so as you can see we go to HTML now now we have to get the price from that HTML so what we're gonna do basically we're gonna find the text between the delimiters and we're gonna use the start tag and end tag as a delimiter so on right hand side window where it says add column click on this setting again <coughs> it will open the same uh, add column pop-up window <coughs> sorry I'm not feeling really well and we're gonna wrap this formula with text between delimiters so text between delimiters open parenthesis comma start tag then comma and tag and then close the parenthesis okay and press ok again you see we have got the price here now we're going to convert this into a decimal number because some websites have decimal price some don't so avoid the confusion we're going to do that <coughs> all right so most of the hard work is done so what we're going to do next we're going to add uh, another column custom column again we're going to name it date and the formula for it if you start writing local it will appear so date time dot local now open close parenthesis press ok so we got the current date and time that's uh, what we need and we're going to convert it into date time and then go to home tab oh before you go to home tab <laughs> we're going to remove some extra elements from this table now so we're going to click on item name hold control on your keyboard then click on price and then click on date select these columns and then right click on one of these and click on remove other columns so now we go just item name price and date now click on close and load <coughs> right so it's been loaded here the issue with it now that when the price will change everything will change in this row it won't create a, another entry to show you history to mitigate that issue what we're gonna do we're gonna we're gonna have to basically hack <laughs> a little bit so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do a trick with Excel and create a history of the price every time it changes so you copy this data and right click somewhere and then paste values <coughs> then select this data again press ctrl T on your keyboard press ok convert it into the table again and then load it into power query by going into data from table range and then in the power query we're going to click on append query and table to append we're going to load here our table number one which is this one our main table and press ok and now we're going to right click on the date column and then we're going to click duplicate column and then our original date column we're going to change this to just date 
by right clicking you know, on it on this side date and the date copy column we will convert into date time then we're going to select item name price and date and then right click then we go into group by in the operations we're going to select max and in the column over here we're going to select date copy and press ok at this point you can keep only one of these columns whichever you like I will uh, I will keep this one so I will delete the date columns right click on that one and remove and rename this count to date like this and close and load <coughs> once it's loaded somewhere you have to click on table design and copy the table name yeah oops copy this table name right click on this table go to table go to edit query then click on source and change this table name to whatever you have copied so you delete that and click on close and load again it's loading now uh, you have noticed it, nothing changed because there is no movement on the price but when there will be movement on the price another entry will be added here automatically or when the day changes so let me change the day on my computer to give you an example so if I go to my computer settings and change a different date let's say 17th of January and refresh again you will see another entry will pop up here see so it's going to create a history day by day plus it will create history whenever there will be a changes in the price regardless of day <coughs> great our main job is done now basically in the next time you go to this main sheet you can call it database or whatever you have to just add more things here it will automatically get the price so let's try with a different website let's try with this IKEA let's, let's say we wanna track the price of this wardrobe we're gonna right click on the price go to inspect we will see where the price is we're gonna right click on the price and then edit as HTML by the way this whatever I'm showing here on the browser will work on any chromium based browser that will include Brave, uh, Chromium, Chrome, New Edge, yeah. So the stuffs are equally the same for all the browser. So just copy a few things before the price. That will go into start tag. And then last thing is the same span, so I'll just copy this one from the top and give it a name whatever xyz to no confuse things and then url and just go to data refresh all i've got this button here but yeah whichever is the same thing so let's go to our main page and refresh all The price should appear here. Great. So, five seven six. If you go to the website, five seven six. The price. Now we can create a pivot table out of this information. So you can have a nice little graph which goes up and down when the price changes. So to do that, so 
click anywhere on your table then click on insert click on pivot table you can add this wherever you like new sheet or this sheet uh, for the sake of this video I'll just press OK and then item name I will put this in the columns I will put the date in the rows you see Excel automatically created some extra stuff for me when I drag the date into the rows so I'm gonna delete that by right clicking on it so right clicking remove field remove remove I just want the date and the price into the values okay and then click anywhere onto your pivot table go to insert click on recommend chart click on line chart and press ok and then you can right click anywhere on these button and then click hide all field buttons that's what I like anyway uh, whatever you like you can do that if you want to keep that buttons too so and then click on this plus button click on data labels and you, what you also can do you can right click on the item name and add a slicer so you can have individual lines for each item and if you want to put a symbol in front of these values that's quite easy to do as well so basically if you go to your pivot table settings and click on that one and go to value field setting and click on number format then you can select currency and press ok ok and the symbol will appear in front of the values yeah basically that's it you can make it like as fancy as you like to do but for the sake of this video I'm not gonna go any further because this this is already like 17 minutes long video at this point yeah we can make it this chart as fancy as you like you can move it things around you know what to do from here all right guys so thank you very much for watching the video and if you like it please subscribe if you're not subscribed if you like it do like and comment uh, thanks again Happy New Year. I know it's very late, but yeah, and see you in the next one.